Well, Professor Dibu Ojering there is the Registrar of the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board. He joins us from our studios in Abuja. Good morning, Prof, and thank you for joining us today. Well, we see complaints about JAM and then complaints about post-duty ME. So whichever way you turn, there's one complaint or the other. What rationale is there for scrapping post-UTME? Thank you very much. I think um, the scrapping of post-UTME was pronounced by the Honorable Minister. He must have done all his uh, homework before he pronounced it. And even members of the policy agreed with the Minister that JAMP is doing well, was doing well, and is still going to do well. So why the post, and let me say it, post-CTME that we are talking about is not talking about screening. No more tests. That is what the minister said. Writing another examination after the first one is what they are trying to, what the, go, uh, the government is trying to say, do not subject them to another examination again. However, screen them. The screening process is clear. Let them come. They can do the screening through electronic means. They can also do it by physical uh, uh, presentation or both. And I'm sure all of us who attended good universities know very well that screening is always done by our um, institutions. So government is not saying no post to TME. There are three things. Let me tell you this. Post UTME screening test, post UTME uh, test, post UTME screening. Screening is the answer. That is what government asked them to do. So, in, fa in fairness to the go uh, to the minister's pronouncement, is talking of no more post UTME tests and right. examination. All right, Prof. In any so, if however, screen the candidates. That's what. The the government is saying. All right, I get that. So what will this screening comprise of? All right. Uh, what used to be, and uh, which we think will be, is um, a way of checking their credentials in terms of uh, SSC. In any case, the final decision is going to be made with them in, the, in a meeting that will be conducted between JAM and all the institutions very soon. The authorities of the various institutions have been uh, asked and, uh, and uh, with the acceptance of the Honorable Minister that they should come for a meeting okay. where we decide on what to do wait, wait, and how wait. to do it. I don't get, so, wait, so they, they, but I think the first thing is Pardon me to button, Prof. Does that mean then the that... The first thing is that... Just, just a minute. So, uh, apologies for that. So this means that that decision was taken first before any of those meetings are held? Oh, no. He asked them a question, general question, in the meeting. Is Jam doing well? Everybody shouted, yes. Why are you doing another post me test for them? Test, test too. It's not talking of screen. They couldn't answer. But should we now continue in the name of money? And, okay, in fact, some uh, individuals came up to say, no way, we should not continue to do post me tests. Nobody said they should not be screened. The candidates will be screened. What is wrong whatever with the we, test? We, whatever we say. They'll be screened in one form or the other. The form of screening will be the use of their certificates. Some have SSC, NECO. Some have SSC, JAMP. I mean, um, WIC. Yeah, but so prove your certificates. But what is wrong with what is wrong with the having appropriate certificate for uh, registration? I hope you can hear me, Prof. I mean, what is, me? what is wrong with having another test? Since, What's wrong with having another test since we are looking to get the best? In that, is there anything right in it? No, you, the minister, and yourself scrapped it. You support the scrap. Right, another so test. What is wrong with that? Oh no. What government asked them to do right from the beginning is screening. And I want to quote Professor Ambaba um, Obasanjo. 
He said, I didn't ask you to go and do another exam. I'm saying, screen the candidates before they come in. The screening does not uh, imply that you will have to go and give them another test. And that's what the minister is talking about. So, screen them. Do they have the prerequisite? Do they have the SSC, five whole levels, in, kind of, uh, in terms of what they want to do? For example, somebody wants to study math, uh, engineering. Does he have mathematics, physics, and chemistry, as well as English I, language? I, I, I think if he does. Prof. And he has gotten a minimum cutoff point in jam. Therefore, he should be admitted. That's all. And in fact, the idea of saying um, you want to do another examination, if you go by law, I don't want to quote the relevant laws of uh, jam, um, section 5 sub 1 um, sub A gives the power to jam. There are other subsections that give the power to jam to do this. But um, sincerely, something strong in the process of doing the test again. I, I, because I think, if I, I the think test that, is Jerry, done I, I in Lagos uh, and it's tenable in Maiduguri, I will agree with them. Just let me come in here. It would seem as if uh, in, in an attempt for us to put some kind of uh, meaning or logic into uh, the scrapping of this, we, 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 we came up with semantics now, screening and test. Uh, uh, to me, I think they, my understanding, they are, they are both the same. Screening is another word for testing. Test, no. test is another word for screening. So no. perhaps no. It, no. It, is, it, it was is, specifically said by President Obasanjo that he's not asking them to do another examination, but screen them, screen them, see their certificates, see their faces, and then uh, give them uh, admission. Of per course, per we perhaps, perhaps as Nigeria, that time, Nigeria has its own different admission. meaning. And then when the candidates come in, test. they screen them. I was, I, I, enter, I, I attended the fair, and they, they, I was screened properly. All of us, we had to line up before professors to show them our, the original certificates. In fact, during the process of screening, some of them were, some of my mates were, were sent packing because they didn't have the, the certificate. They claimed to have gotten A level in this and that or O level in this and that, but they didn't have it. So yes, government said, I mean, the university, if a great if that I attended said it, sorry, we cannot admit you because you have told us a lie. Yeah, but, that is the screening process. But we like And let me also ask a question. Sorry to, again, apologies. The, the, the NCE graduates of these, our universities, the certificates were awarded by the universities. Of course, moderated by universities. Then you subject them to another examination. Are you doubting the certificate that you awarded? Something is wrong. We are saying, screen them, but no more testing. And that's what government is saying. Thank Could you. you tell us what is wrong with conducting another test, even if you say no test or just screen, but what's wrong with testing the students that the schools are going to admit? What is right in it? There's no law backing that test again. I'm saying it. And if you go to our law, let me give you some sections of the law. Uh, section 5.1a, go and read it if you like, if, and if you would like me to read it to you, I'll read it to you. Sections 5.2 uh, also says it clearly, and then when you go to sections uh, 17.2, it says it. For example, in section 5.1a, uh, the general control of the conduct of matriculation examination for admission into all universities, polytechnics, by whatever name called, and colleges of education, by whatever name called, is in, is in the hand of JAM. Okay? Admission, conduct of examination. Let me give you another section, 5.2. For the avoidance of doubt, the board shall be responsible for determining matriculation requirements and conducting examination leading to undergraduate admission, admissions and also for admission to national diploma and the Nigerian certificate in education course. Okay? It's there, clearly. Go and read it, and you'll see. But look, I'm not trying to be legalistic. I'm just saying that we should do things right. I agree. 
that before now, before 2007 and 8 in particular, there were infractions in the process of uh, uh, the, the conduct of the examination. But let me tell you that these tests that we administer were developed by the authorities of the various institutions, polytechnics, colleges of education, and universities. They moderate the items, we work together, they even supervise the examination, they are a part of it. All right, the only so thing we do that is different is that we pro put our own professional touch to the examination. All right, if that were the For case. For example, we were using the principle of item response theory now, which is the modern way of testing. All right, so but, but we'll, we'll, we'll come to that in a bit. Theory. But if so, that were the case, why is the ministry calling for a meeting after announcing that there shouldn't be any more no, 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 no. It's not the ministry that's calling for a, min for a meeting. Who is? But I, on my part, felt that we should work together with the, with the universities, with the colleges of education, with polytechnics. And I suggested it to the minister, and he approved that I should go ahead and All hold right. a meeting with them but it, so it, that we map out the strategy. Look, okay. I, I was in charge of uh, admission to the Faculty of Education for a period of nine years. And I knew how we used to do it. It's not a matter of another examination. In fact, in those days, when the universities were not many, we would all sit together and look at the printout of the various uh, universities. Maybe you say, well, I will not take this person because of this. And then uh, if I would say, oh, I want that type of ca ma material. In other words, all candidates, all applicants, yeah. are applicants to Nigerian universities or tertiary institutions generally. But Whether the, you make Lagos your first choice or if it's your first choice. The reason... So all these things will be ironed out in a meeting that we are going to sit down together to discuss. Well, people will say, after taking the decision, you want to now have that meeting and force it down their throat. They thought that meeting should have held oh, first no. before that directive. But the reason that the minister let, gave... Let, let, let me tell you something. Just a minute, you'll respond to that. Don't, let me, let me, let me add uh, this as well. Don't, don't think... Just, just hang on, Prof. The, when the minister... The, 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 the meeting at, on that day, the meeting on that day had a right to say no. I had the right to say no. All right, let, let, let me say anything. Just a minute, Prof. Let me bring this part in. Uh, why when you when the minister the made, where we have held the meeting with the can, can with you hear the me, Prof? Rectors and vice chancellors in attendance, and the decision was made. Jo just, just a minute, Prof. We, we need to get this tidied up. No, it's wrong. No, just hold on, so that it goes back and forth. Our decision making. 